Government has earmarked 2.7 trillion shillings for debt interest payment, as shown in the budget framework paper for the financial year 2018-2019. This, according to civil society organizations, is suffocating funding to critical sectors of the economy. We observe with concern that the increase in expenditure on interest payment from 2 trillion in financial crisis 2017 to now proposed 2.7 trillion is steadily crowding out expenditure on social sectors. We are going back to become a highly indebted poor country. Civil society organizations have also underscored the need for policymakers to prioritize funding to research in order to stimulate productivity and growth in the agriculture sector. If you look at the detail of the agriculture sector budget as proposed in the budget framework paper, we are seeing a cut in financing our research from 84 billion to 63. I'm very concerned that one moment in time you're going to have 2 million for research in this country. So whether we have a law or we don't have a law, biotechnology is not done for free. In comparison with NDP2, public costing for financial 18 19, only five out of 16 sectors are on course. This being the fourth year of implementation of the five year on NDP2. The total variance of 2.5 trillion implies that Uganda is less likely to achieve its middle status income. And as such, to redeem this situation, we ask that an expenditure, uh, uh, a midterm review for NDP needs to be done immediately. This after a host of policy recommendations in the National Budget Framework paper with experts calling for a halt on creation or operationalization of new administrative units, merging of corresponding government agencies to address expenditure challenges, among others.